Our next guest is one of the finest actors of all. You know her from The Handmaid's Tale, The Leftovers, and her moving new movie, which is called Mass. And the truth is, we believed we were good parents. And in some awful, confusing way, we still do. Isn't it worse that I thought I was a good mother? I love my children. Other parents, I wasn't so different. How did I do things so differently? It makes it... It's very hard to trust anything anymore. Mass is available now on demand. Please welcome Ann Dowd. Boy, I am such a big fan of yours. I've told you this before, and I'll tell you something. Well, I want to thank you also for doing our Norman Lear specials. Last month, we did live in front of a studio audience, different strokes and facts of life, and you were really the MVP because you played a role in both shows, Mrs. Garrett, and you were so great. So great. And I know it embarrasses you, no, but no, no, you it's were very great. You were absolutely... <laughs> Um, do you ever look at, like, the reviews for this sort of thing? No, no, goodness. OK, let me read you one. <laughs> no, God. Variety said, the real MVP of the evening has to be Ann Dowd, who played Mrs. Edna Garrett in both Facts and Strokes, an almost perfect channeling of Charlotte Ray's vocal inflections. Dowd nails it. Close your eyes. You'll swear you're watching the original series whenever Dowd opens her, her mouth. And oh, that's... My goodness. Thank you. I told you that I was on set and somebody pulled me aside and they're like, oh my God, I thought it I thought it was Charlotte Ray. Now Charlotte Ray passed away years ago. And they were everyone, people, even the crew was convinced of oh, it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, I can just say that <laughs> when I got the lovely invitation, of course, you, would you ever turn down uh, Jimmy Kimmel? The answer would be no. Whoa. And so, you know, you'd wear a bag over your head and cross the street if he asked. Yeah, um, that didn't, that's not how it went in high school, but thank you. <laughs> no, 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 of course not. <laughs> and Damon Lindelof, whom I love very much, uh, introduced us. But anyway, after I said yes, I thought, who am I kidding? I, I'm, not, I'm out of my league, for sure. Oh. No, I couldn't be more serious. Uh -huh. I, I looked at the cast, I said, that there's a mistake has been made here. Uh, and so I, every time I tried to look at the script, I literally pushed it aside. I thought, no, no, I can't. I, I, I'm going to have to make a call. And then finally I thought, you know, honey, you're a grown-up. So what we do when we're grown-ups <laughs> is we do the work in front of us. So then I read the script and got to It's funny that that was your reaction because my initial thought was, yes, you'd be great, but I was nervous to ask you because I thought you might think it was frivolous or beneath you to play oh a role God. like that. And also working with Snoop Dogg. Had you worked with Snoop before? <laughs> OK, guys, am I, do I look there? I don't know where to look because they're so lovely. Um, I just want, hi. <laughs> OK, this is what I want to tell you. So I sit down for the reading thinking, don't pass out, just sit. It's not that hard. To my right is Snoop Dogg. To my left is Damon Wayans. And then there's Kevin Hart and Lithgow. So I thought, why? I'm here for a reason, and it will present itself. And you wouldn't mind, but isn't he the loveliest, that Snoop Dogg? He is, yeah. He's so he shy is. and sweet. And, and, and he's a fine actor and humble, and they all are. Yeah. And they were all so astonishing. And the other cast. Yeah. And I remember doing it and thinking, and, and sweet Jimmy Burroughs saying, OK, I want you between the two, Annie. I said, oh, sure, sure, and thinking, but I am. And sweet Jennifer said, no, honey, it's... There's five billion cameras, I'm just going to say. And, and Jennifer said, no, it's that camera he's referring to. Oh, I see. OK, yeah, so. It's a little different it's doing just, a sitcom. It's yeah. a circus of, of loveliness. It never occurred to me that you would be nervous because oh. you've done so much theater and you've done these, like, real, like, <laughs> serious projects. And oh, you've my done so much God. great stuff. The Leftovers, which is one of my all-time favorite yeah. shows. And That's when I met my dear friend, Justin, whom That's I love. Justin Thoreau, who's, And uh, yeah. my dear, dear. Dear friend, yes. Well, you see, that live in front of a studio audience part? Yeah. Th that's not the same <laughs> as shooting a series. It's not. No. No. Uh, and uh, I don't know that I've ever been as nervous. You were fantastic. Just play anyway. that clip. There's a guy oh. on Twitter who put 
<laughs> together a little like mashup. Uh, the guy's name is uh, Jarrett Says. Uh, show that uh, for the audience. It was so fun. You got a full meal in there? A salad, a main course, and a dessert? You got a full meal in there? A salad, a main course, and a dessert? Joe, what boy's gonna spend the evening with you if he has to bid on a dinner like that? Joe, what boy's gonna spend the evening with you if he has to bid on a dinner like that? Unbelievable, really unbelievable. Thank you. And now, I, um, over the break, got a chance to see your movie, Mass. And I really, I don't, I feel like it's, I don't know how you feel, but I feel it's important not to reveal what the subject matter is about, because that, for me, was part of watching this film. And it is really one of the best movies I've ever seen. And, the, and you and the rest of your, the cast, it is a very pop. What can you say about, about this film? I can say personally, I have a hard time talking about it. Yeah. But I can say personally, it was the most profound uh, experience of acting in my life, for sure. Uh, where generosity of character to actor in a topic that is very challenging. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, I don't know where to go here. And I asked her for help, and she came every day. Uh, that's what Charlotte Ray did, too, by the way. It was awfully kind of her. <laughs> but uh, the other thing I would say is um, it's important because we're all kind of scared, you know, these days, because what is going on for all of us? And it's a way through, meaning to healing, perhaps, or forgiveness for the burdens that we carry that we want to put down, but we don't know how. Uh, I think this film offers a way through, which I think is a beautiful thing. Fran Krantz wrote it, and uh, Martha Plimpton's in it, and Jason Isaacs, and Reed Burney, lovely, lovely actors. Oh, uh, they're just great. <sighs> and you should, the whole thing uh, you shot in, almost all of it, in one room, uh, you, we cried a lot watching this movie. I mean, it Thank is... Thank you for watching. Uh, well, in your very a, busy schedule. Uh, you know, I'd watch anything you're in. Thank you. And I highly recommend that uh, that people see it because it is, uh, yeah, it is. It's hard to watch, but you're glad you did afterwards. I. I think so. Yeah. Thank well, it's you. very great to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Do I have to leave already? You don't have to leave. We can, you know, like two minutes, didn't we can you? hang out. There's a lady here whose um, whole family <laughs> is. Uh, uh, well, they. they Thank you very much. They figured out the secret to life. <laughs> and doubt, everyone. Mass is the movie. It is available on demand. We'll be right back with Ryan Hurd. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>